think maybe I put this camera a little bit too far away from me, but we're gonna see how this goes. Hi everyone, Sandra from ForYourChi.com, and we're here today with your weekly tarot and oracle reading, June 7th through the 13th. Welcome to it. Thank you for being here. We are smack in the middle of these eclipse season and cycles and energy, and it will be interesting to see how this is going to play out. I'm excited about um, getting back into the zodiac readings my camera came in i just have to figure out how to work it because i'm very interested to see how all of this is going to fare with you all and what's going on in your life okay so before i get really into this reading which is fascinating by the way especially for this eclipse on the 10th um that this uh, week contains. Let's go to my winner, and that is Nicolette Sower. If your name, YouTube name is Nicolette Sower, send me an email at foryourchi at gmail.com, F-O-R-Y-O-U-R-C-H-I at gmail.com, and I will put you on the schedule for an email reading for me. Okay. Um, actually, there's one other announcement. Let me get to this. For those of you who are interested in knowing and learning about what's coming, um, future predictions astrological wise, I would highly recommend, and I've recommended him before, uh, watching the Leo King start on YouTube, but I would really recommend getting his he does quarterly pay-per-view updates. The videos are like $20 per video. I would definitely get his last two videos. I've been watching him since I think 2019. It's only been a couple of years now. I cannot get over how accurate this guy is. I mean, down to the details, he said in... I think it was two pay-per-view videos ago that we would be living a duct tape life as far as goods and products uh, being unavailable. I'm currently waiting on a simple fence to keep the dog in the yard. And there's a two-month waiting period, approximately, give or take. And, I mean, that's not all. There are things that you would not that we take for granted every day. Um, I'm noticing it. We're right in the middle of it. I mean, that's just one example of how right on and spot on this guy has been. Nobody is making predictions like that. I would pay attention to, I would watch him on YouTube first, get it because he does give tidbits and very important details. A lot of people can't tolerate the way that he delivers the messages because he is, he says things that are triggering but we live in a time and day and age where now we need to set that aside and listen for the truth so that you can prepare yourself there are things that need to be done um, in order to prepare for what's coming we're not out of it yet. We're not out of this Saturn, Pluto, and now Uranus has joined this, uh, all these conjunctions. I am not an astrologer by any means, but I definitely would follow him. I also follow Astrolata for the transit. She has good transit information, but if you really want to know what's going to happen, I would follow the Leo King. The Leo King has a full, he has employed a full-time historian and he goes back through these major transits in every recorded moment in history and tells you what happened back then. That's how he's making these predictions. And he was the only astrologer to say plague in, I think it was 2019. It could have been 2018, though. All these other astrologers definitely were not saying plague. They were saying things like, 
uh, global reset. So that's where that term came from. And then, you know, some dirty politicians turned it into some, some kind of dirty thing or whoever turned it into a dirty thing. But the astrologers have been saying that for more than five years. And I know because I've been listening to it. Uh, so when they say things like, you know, resetting the global economy and currencies will change and banking systems will change, they all said that. But what they didn't say was all of the things that would lead up to that into a um, circumstance and situation where it feels forced, right? So anyway, I, I would definitely pay attention to what his predictions are, and I would definitely make preparations and actions according to what those big markers are. And by the way, he employed that professional historian so that she could go back and fact check the information that he was pulling up because there are certain things that are being removed, certain historical events that are being removed from the internet. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, material harvest. Great. The best money card in this whole deck. You know, if we had the wheel of fortune with it, that would be even more blessings. But nevertheless, this card is saying that you can now reap the benefits of the good seeds that you have previously sown. And that is in the material world, not the spiritual world necessarily. This is more of a money and stuff kind of card. Love it. We have something told me to go to the wisdom of the Oracle. Uh, wisdom of the Avalon, pardon me for the Oracle message. And there is a reason for that. It appears we have pulled all animal cards. So this is like your animal spirit animal totem reading. You may actually get signs from physical animals this week. There may be a giant bird that stands in the center of the road that you're driving on or walking upon or some other animal presents itself to where you have to pay attention to it and you're like, okay, I hear you. What's the message? Or maybe you see this am animal, symbol, bird that appears after a significant event has just occurred to let you know that this is your higher self, your spirit guides, your guardian angels that are showing up for you that give you a confirmation and a sign and an omen. This hawk card literally says omens messages. They're coming this week. Pay attention. It could have something to do with an investment or a small wager or buying and selling something. This could be extremely profitable for you. Excuse me, for you. Okay. And pay very close attention to birds because seriously, I cannot make this up. I completely forgot that there was a raven in this deck. I think there's also an owl, but we didn't pull that. So the message for midweek, Wednesday and Thursday, is stand your ground, okay? Now remember, as we get deeper into the week here, that it, the solar eclipse in Gemini is upon us. I know that I have said in the past two weeks, you know, some psychic readers will tell you to avoid all arguments during eclipse time. However, we have the opposite message here, and I will repeat what I said back then in the last two weeks. Sometimes we cannot avoid the argument during an eclipse because we should not avoid it because this Subject matter is coming to a head for a reason. It's like bubbling under the surface in a pressure cooker and something's not quite what right. There's too much pressure and the top just blows off like you cannot take this anymore. 
whatever this is. Now the Raven is here to talk about psychic synchronicities, coincidences, synchronistic events, and magic. Okay. So whatever is happening here with you, drawing your line in the sand, digging your heels in, putting your foot down, this is no accident. This is meant to happen. Okay. Because it's all taking you to a deeper purpose, a higher meaning. No more scratching the surface. No more sweeping the shit under the rug. It's all meant to come out now for a good reason. And after this is all over, there will, you will feel this burden lifted from your shoulders, this cleansed energy afterwards. It really will be beautiful. I'm just so happy we didn't pull the death card this week. Are you kidding me? It's amazing and exciting at the same time. So whatever this week entails, you are going to get through it. Okay, card for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here we go. Now you've already put your foot down, right? Now it is time to clearly speak your mind. You will have a tendency to want to bite your tongue. Perhaps there was a blowout because of you putting your foot down. But this is more, this, I'm getting like, you put your foot down midweek, but now you're really speaking your truth. And that will be required for this weekend. Speak the truth. Okay, the spider is here to talk about creative projects. So this definitely means that there's going to be work involved, whatever you want to do here. Perhaps you have received a dream or a sign from these uh, spirit guides this past week, and you know what you need to do here. You know what you need to work on. This is probably something side gig related uh, or home-based business or something like that, or something that you just need to do around your house. Uh, fix it project or to construct something. This is definitely you building towards something, uh, a change, okay? There's one other message that I was going to give you about that. Work involved, yes. So this event involves a certain amount of time that it's going to take you, and you're going to need assistance in this project as well. I'm getting, you have a lot of time constraints on your lives right now. And let's face it, I don't know anyone that doesn't. Um, so it's going to be important for you to speak your truth about people that are wasting your time. You know, other people that are trying to rope you into doing things that you don't want to do because you do have this project that's looming over you and you are going to need to, you're like required to get this work done, whatever this is, okay? So it's going to be important to restructure your time management, say no to the things that you absolutely need to say no to and you're gonna know what that is. And for my Virgos out there or anyone that has strong Virgo in your chart, don't feel Virgo guilty about that. You know, you rarely say no, but it's going to be required right now and into the many days and weeks and months that this is going to take to accomplish. So I do see this eclipse as being good for the majority of you. And let's take that energy and let's roll with it because we are being given a rare opportunity at these times to make the changes necessary to bring us to our higher purpose and what we're meant to do here. Many blessings to all of you. Thanks so much for being here. And I will get, I'm hoping to have your 12 months, uh, 
12 sign zodiac reading done for July as long as I can figure out the ca the new camera that I have. I'm excited to try to play around with it. Many blessings to all of you. Take care.